Tonight, an on your side investigation into investigations. An animal researcher at Augusta University says he tried to blow the whistle about a possible cover up after the death of his research monkey. Tonight, Meredith Anderson on your side exposing possible flaws in how cases like this are handled. The paper trail is a long one. It started three years ago at Augusta University. From there, I followed it all the way to the federal government and then back to the place it started. But even with all of that mileage, did it ever really go anywhere? My career has been destroyed. I do desperately want to get back on track. Animal researcher Dr. Jay Hegday making more than waves. He's making serious allegations under oath in a grievance hearing at Augusta University last spring. I did nothing wrong and I want to get back on track. He's also filed a lawsuit against Georgia Regents University, or GRU, as it was known back then. He cites Georgia's Whistleblower Act, claiming GRU requested termination of his funding for research with the National Science Foundation. If you search Dr. Hegde's grant on the NSF website, you can see it was supposed to total $685,000 over four years, but that suddenly stopped. Okay, keep scrolling to Project Outcome. That's where Dr. Hegde is required to let the public know the results of the research. He reports he was unable to complete the project because one of his monkeys apparently died from an overdose of a narcotic painkiller administered by a GRU veterinarian. He also reports he discovered evidence of forgery, and when he tried to blow the whistle, GRU took a series of measures that led to the premature termination of the grant at the specific request of GRU. He makes those same claims at the faculty hearing. And I'm the one who made the mistake of saying you can't falsify a federal record and I'm taking it on the chin. Um, and so I don't have any expectation that it will get better because I'm the one, you know, I took it to this level of uh, filing a grievance, etc. So there will be a lot of people who are looking to do me in. Dr. Hegde took his concerns to the federal government. Acting on that whistleblower complaint, the Department of Health and Human Services started asking GRU questions about claims that records of the monkey named Ovechkin may be falsified. GRU responded with, no evidence to date has been found in support of the allegations. The feds don't appear to question that, so essentially, whistleblower case closed. What kind of due process is it when you investigate a matter that directly involves me, but you don't even talk to me? We reviewed this investigation report by GRU's internal committee. It includes info about eight people interviewed. Dr. Hegde is not one of them. Last August, the university pretty much closed the case, too, saying investigators, both internal and external, have looked into the allegations and found no evidence to support claims of wrongdoing in the death of the animal in Dr. Hegde's care. Augusta University's vice president of legal affairs expands on that in this letter. Christopher Melcher says he can't testify at the hearing because of Dr. Hegde's lawsuit. But tells the panel six separate entities investigated and all determined no validity to any of the claims in the Hegde complaint. He also says the hearing panel can't make any decisions about Dr. Hegde's research protocol, citing the Animal Welfare Act. He closes his letter calling for Dr. Hegde to be formally censured for intentionally bringing false claims and intentionally making false and slanderous allegations against university employees, faculty and staff. Mr. Melcher does not indicate this letter is under oath, but a sociology professor who testified at the hearing is. I discovered early on that uh, GRU didn't have a whistleblower policy. Under oath, he says the university had to put an emergency policy in place because of Dr. Hegde's allegations. According to our investigation, the university should have had that in place years before. In 2008, the University System of Georgia required each institution to have one. So I told Jay that morning, I said, or that afternoon, I said, they're going to put in writing that you did nothing wrong, and we got a whistleblower policy out to protect anyone that ever finds himself in this situation going forward. Dr. Reese said he thought that was the end of it and expected to see some sort of paperwork saying that. Such a document never came. And when I asked a couple of months later, when I asked where was such a document, I was told that legal said no. As for the lawsuit, it's still pending. We've got it posted on our websites. It, like the hearing audio, is public record. And so are the USDA inspection and violation reports. That information used to be online for all to see. 
They've exposed a lot about animal research at Augusta University. Just today, that information was removed from the government website. Reports for all facilities, not just AU, gone. Anyone can still request documents, but getting them could take months. And then there's red tape. Bottom line here, your access to information and a window for watchdogs has just been slammed shut.